Now, your local weather authority with Chief Meteorologist Jesse Walker. All righty, here's our weather folklore of the night. When leaves fall early, fall and winter will be mild. When the leaves fall late, winter will be severe. Well, it's pretty obvious what it's been like. Here's a picture at our house out near Brazil. I just took this today. And look at that. I mean, it's the, what is the 8th of November and all of those leaves still on the trees. And check this out. Mike Tank took this at his place in southern Vigo County. Now, notice at the top of the banner, this was one year ago today. Notice not too many leaves, right? One year ago today. Now, get ready. Here was today. Big change. I mean, the leaves are really holding on this year. So if you go by that weather folklore, could be a severe winter. It's one of the many things I'll be talking about two weeks from tomorrow. And I got my big winter outlook coming up and doing a lot of work on that. Getting closer. Temperature wise today, we hit 69, even though that was beautiful. Not the record. One year ago, we hit 80 for the record high. 44 was our low early this morning. No precipitation. We expect to stay dry for a while till the big storm gets here Wednesday night into Thursday. Sunrise, sunset for tomorrow. And there's the river stage in Terre Haute, 13.1 feet. And it is on the way down. Right now at the airport at Terre Haute, it's still nice, 60 degrees. Winds are south at about 9. Pressure's at 30.16. Temperatures across here right around 60 degrees, so it's very, very nice out there. On the water vapor satellite, we really don't have anything big. There's a front right here, and that front's going to kind of move into the area tomorrow later in the day, and it'll bring more cloud cover, maybe a sprinkle or a light shower, but that's really about it. The main storm will come later, Wednesday night, Thursday. Nothing going on tonight. You saw that beautiful sunset there. Nothing showing up on the Dorset Automotive Doppler radar. As the front approaches the area, we'll have more cloud cover by tomorrow morning. So a lot of clouds tomorrow. Can't rule out maybe later in the day a sprinkle or a light shower, but it would be minor, nothing major. The bigger storm comes later on. So this gets all the way into Wednesday. And again, can't rule out tomorrow, Wednesday, a brief light shower, but we're pretty dry. The big storm comes in as we had on Wednesday night and Thursday. Here we are. We're getting around 9 a.m. Thursday. Moves through the area. Quick hitting rain, but could be some pretty good rain with that. Behind this, dry and notice the clock by Thursday. Dry, but turning colder. Then, things get interesting. Big low pressure sits up here and spins around, and it spins another little wave of low pressure down into the area. Notice this is on Sunday morning with some showers, and believe it or not, at least for some of you right now, we, we might mix a snowflake in. For some of you, you might see your first snowflake of the season. Nothing big. But we can't rule that out as we get into Sunday, Saturday night into Sunday, and then behind that, the colder weather continues. So it's mild for a couple more days. Then behind the storm, here comes the cold push as we get into the end of the week and the weekend. And it kind of just stays there. Notice as we get into early next week as well. So we're going to go into a much colder pattern the end of the week and the upcoming weekend. And you can kind of see that continuing for a while. However, we do see some warmer air coming in. See this on the 18th, so I think we'll warm up. But... That's a lot of cold air getting ready, and that probably is getting down here closer to Thanksgiving time. We'll keep an eye on that. Tonight, partly cloudy, fairly mild actually, 42 for the low. Then during the day tomorrow, daytime high of 63. It's still nice, a lot of clouds though. And then after that, we stay mild as we take you into midweek, 65 degrees as we go into Wednesday, but then rain chances Wednesday night, Thursday, a lot colder after that. And there's the temperatures for the weekend, 41 to high on Saturday, Grant. Thanks, Jesse. Big news for Indiana State basketball editors.